Richard Thomas Musso, Battlestar Richard, and the girls call me Peachy Richie. <laughs> I'm 88 in seven months. 88 years, I'll be 89 September 27th. About two years ago, uh, coming home one night, I ran into Richard Musto on the street, um, almost exactly where he, uh, he is standing today. And he had built a campsite there for himself and uh, was just uh, amazed to see a man of his age who was uh, making a home for himself right there on the sidewalk. Are you a doctor or am I a doctor? You're the doctor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not you know a better. doctor. You know better. You know I'm better. a quack. Yeah. <laughs> I was so struck by uh, the extent to which he'd gone to make a camp that looked like a home right there uh, on the sidewalk. And I realized this was a remarkable uh, uh, story uh, and a remarkable man who uh, had found a way to uh, uh, to go about carving out a niche for himself right here on the streets of New York. Call me Bogey. I do impression intimidations in Casablanca. That's one of my nicknames, Casablanca. Um, so uh, I've spent uh, really uh, the last uh, uh, two years working very closely with a friend of mine, a, a, a photographer, Michelle, Michelle Del Sol, trying to document uh, Richard's story. Our exhibit is running from uh, June 14th uh, through June 23rd. What we've tried to do uh, with the exhibit is to give Richard a chance to uh, show some of his work and, and through our work as well, to give uh, uh, viewers as, as full an understanding of, of his life, what goes in to uh, leading to someone to, uh, to, at his age to, to be living on the streets, but more than that, what enables someone at his age to, uh, to be a survivor of the streets. I'm selling everything, which I told the couple yesterday. I said, I'm selling everything except myself. And you know what she said? I didn't hear it. She, she laughed. And the lady said, she says, I'm sorry you're not selling yourself. She wanted to buy me. I said, they haven't printed enough money yet for me to buy me. Uh, uh, Michelle and I refer to, uh, like to refer and think of Richard as a survival artist. Uh, and that's really uh, what, uh, what we hope this show is. It's a, a show of survival art. This is not a story about uh, really destitution or hopelessness. It's a story really about uh, uh, someone very strong and committed to getting by one way or another.